Hi, this is Pro Tips to Dan, and joining me today is Pro Tips to Tom from Slovakia. Hello, everyone. And um, we're going to be talking about Wimbledon. Uh, it's almost into the, the middle weekend. Um, so, Tom, you're our expert. How did you get on with your bets yesterday? Um, yesterday was a pretty good day, I would say. Uh, if you talk, do you talk about yesterday's bets or yesterday's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell, tell, tell us about your bets. Tell us, tell us, tell us your winners, Tom. Mm -hmm. um, I'll tell you what I have for today. That's that's more interesting, to be honest. Come on, then. Uh, there are some crackers going on just now. Uh, those, those of you who follow me on Protipster Slovensko, which is the Facebook site of Protipster in Slovakia, know that uh, I have a Dominika Sibukova, my country from Slovakia to win against Croatia, and she lost the first set now, but she's 5-3 in second set, uh, that's a pretty close match, and we expect it to be close, um, uh, I have Azarenka to win, she lost the first set against Watson, the so unpredictable Watson as uh, Dan used to say, uh, you never know what you can expect from her, she took the second set 6-1, She's 4-3 up in the third set, if I'm not wrong. Uh, looking at the Protip circuits, Silic uh, to win. He's playing uh, Johnson from USA. He's, it's 2-0 two, two for Silic in sets, and uh, it's all in the, in the third set. So it looks pretty good. Um, of the day, sir. If you look at my profile, producer Tom, I have uh, Elena Svitolina to win by five or more games against Karina Bolt. Sorry for the pronunciation. And Simona Halep beat Shuipeng. We are playing right now as well, and it's four each in the third set. Um, you're, breaking up, you're breaking up a little bit, Tom. Your signal's breaking up just a touch. It's perfect timing, really, because it was, it was fine 10 minutes ago. Um, Azarenka, I think, you, was a great bet. Uh, Tom bet on uh, Victoria Azarenka to beat uh, Heather Watson. And I, I, I had Heather Watson yesterday to not lose in straight sets, so her winning the first set is fine. Got badly let down by Alja, uh, Aljaz uh, Baldino. Who um, did take Muller uh, some way, but he lost the tie break in the first, lost the second seven five, so and he lost in straight sets in the end. Um, let's see if we can uh, talk to Tom about his tips of today. Um, if you want to know more about who he's backing, um, if you look in the description, the video below, you will see a link to Tom's profile on Pro Tipster. All his tips are there. Um, he's got an amazing record on Pro Tipster. Uh, for Wimbledon, I think it's something like a 25% uh, uh, yield or something like that. Better than that, maybe. Let me just check here. Yeah, uh, I think. 29.6% yield. It's amazing. 78% hit rate and 23 tips. So Tom is the guy to listen to about uh, about tennis tips rather than me. So um, let's talk about Dominic theme in the men's draw against Jared Donaldson, Tom. Yeah, this is uh, one of my main picks for tomorrow, for tomorrow's matches. Um, Dominic Thiem is, I have to say, he's my favorite player to to, to predict matches on. Um, I really like him the way he plays. I really like him at French Open already. Uh, he's done nothing amazing on grass yet, but who knows if this is not his year. Um, if you look at my prediction on Prodipster, it has a 5.0 uh, rating for for this for this for this pick. So you can see it's a pretty decent one, even from with the algorithm rating. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Dan. Carry on, Tom. Um, yeah, uh, they, these two, TM and Donaldson, they played one match, head-to-head uh, -head match. TM won in two 0 and. But that was on clay, so that's you know, something not very significant when talking about grass matches and Wimbledon. Uh, 
he had never reached the, before the third round of Wimbledon. He, he's done it this time, and I think he can go beyond that. He can reach even the fourth round. Uh, he beat uh, Gilles Simon in 3 1, Vasic uh, post Pospisil 3 0. So, and I saw him play. And yeah, I really like the way he serves, I really like the way he plays forehand. Um, which is very important on grass, uh, and, and he's really confident as well. He looks to be mentally doing very well. Uh, Donaldson is a young 20-year-old guy, from, and he's got good uh, first serve. It's his first Wimbledon, so for such performance, uh, it's really good uh, at his age. But at the same time, I think this is his uh, maximum level at the moment, and TM will be something too strong of a player for him. So my main bet, as you showed on, already in the graphics, was TM uh, to win a maximum of four sets. So that's an Asian handicap bet, isn't it? It's, uh, it's yeah. for, he's, he's handicapped by, is it one set or one and a half sets? Yeah, it's, it's, he must win at least by two sets. So 3-0, three, 3-1 one, three, three, one win for uh, Dominic TM should, should do. Okay, and as you see in the graphic here on the screen, that's the M to win in a maximum of four sets, 1.39. As always, all the tips um, that Tom's posted, click on the link in the description. So next up, um, Milos Raonic, Albert Ramos Vinola, Vinolas. I think my I think my pronunciation is right there. What, what do you think for this game? Um, Milos Raonic is a big server, always uh, one of the co-favorites in Wimbledon, maybe he's not uh, the level of uh, Djokovic, Nadal or Federer, but he's always behind them and he's waiting for his chance. Last year, I think he lost the, the final against Andy Murray. In 2014, he was in the semifinals. Um, he's a big hitter, uh, very, very powerful player. Uh, saw his, his bits of his match against Eugenie. Uh, I was not too impressed, I have to say. Um, he's not at his very best. Although the scoreline looks pretty, pretty, pretty easy for him, but I can see that he he doesn't he didn't reach his uh, maximum level. Uh, one of the this is uh, I'll I'll tell my bet and then I'll explain afterwards. Uh, for this match, I picked uh, Albert Ramos Vinolas plus two point five uh, handic set handicap, which uh, is priced at two point. 2-2, two, two, if I'm not wrong. Um, so this is, it means that uh, we need Albert Ramos Vinolas to win at least one set. Okay, I'm with you. I'm just putting the graphic up now. So he's got to yeah. not win in. He's got to not lose in straight sets. That's correct. So if he wins one set, we are absolutely happy. And I think this is a excellent price for for such. This is a big value bet for me. Uh, of course, Raonic is a big favorite of this match, and eventually, I would, I think he, he will win the match. But I can see Albert Ramos Vinola is giving him a hard fight. The slowish conditions that uh, we see in this year's Wimbledon can suit him actually really well. Uh, that's why he's doing so well. Um, last year, he reached the third round. He did so. He defended his points from this uh, this year so he can be pretty relaxed he has nothing to lose uh, I, I see the scoreline is something like 3-1 for Raonic so um, as I said the prices are very excellent for this 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 uh, this line and that's that's one of the main reasons why I picked it up you've convinced me I, I, I love these kind of bets where it's not necessarily backing a player to win you're just backing a player to give it a good go um, I kind of was looking at that yesterday, and 2.22 is great odds. I think just to win a, to win just a set, I think that's yeah, an it, amazing value bet. I really do. Um, if he serves well, he can easily get round. It's one tie break, and you know tie break is always a lottery. So yeah. this is an excellent price for such such bet. Okay, so your final pick from the um, men's draw is um, David Ferrer against Thomas Burdick. Yes, uh, two players that are used to be a few months, let's say a few years ago, in the top 10, top 
almost yeah, top top five, I think. Players that were always behind the big th three guys, Djokovic, or four guys, Djokovic, Mari, Federer, Nadal, they were behind their backs and they were competing for for the spots. As we know, they are both, uh, they lost their positions now, or some time ago. However, still they are great players. Uh, David Ferrer, we know him, he's a great fighter. He's like a bulldog, you know, he's fighting for every point. If he's winning 2-0 or losing 2-0, he's really fighting there for every every single 15 to until the very end. And this Wimbledon, he's, um, he's, he's pretty lucky, to be honest, <laughs> with, the, with, with the, how it went for him. He's done a great job as well, but he also is pretty lucky. Uh, However, Berdych has something similar to Raonic. He didn't Berdych didn't really impress me so far. He dropped the set against Shardy. He dropped the set against uh, Harrison. He couldn't serve uh, off the match uh, yes, uh, yesterday. Um, they played in uh, I think in some time ago. Okay, it, it was in two thousand and six. That's a long time ago. But they played one head to head match on grass. That was a Stuttgart tournament that uh, usually before the Wimbledon. Ferrer won 2 0. Of course, you can't really rely on that uh, statistics. Uh, it's 11 years ago. The players are different, uh, different form, etc. But uh, my pick for this game is Ferrer plus 2.5 set handicap. The odds of 1.7, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, fair enough to lose in straight sets. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's the same. It's all about um, Barad to not lose. Right. Have you got your? Uh, that's all right. We're getting a little bit of feedback there. Um, Barad to not losing straight sets is a, uh, you know, it, again for me it's a great bet. If you've got a player who's who's not looked at their best, and I agree with Tom, Burdick hasn't. You know, it's just one set, and Tom. I think absolutely nails it. If it goes to a tie break, it's a lottery who wins the set. It really is. Um, I thought that with Al Jasperdine, uh, Belgine, uh, Belgine this afternoon. The first set went to, set, uh, went to a tie break. He got it all the way there, and I thought, all he's going to do here, you know, is, is nick a couple of good points. Needs to set up. He couldn't do it. He just couldn't quite get it across the line. But when you've only, when they only need to win one set in five, I think I think it's a great bet. Um, so let's look at the women's draw. There's some uh, been some interesting games in this. Um, yeah. The first one is uh, Rybarikova, isn't it? Uh, that you looked at. Rybarikova. Yeah. That's match of Rybarikova from Slovakia against Serenko from Ukraine. I think she's from Ukraine. Uh, yeah, uh, Rybarikova. And listen to this. Uh, I did some research. Uh, although she's a she's from Slovakia, so I know her pretty well. How she plays. But this year she won three tournaments on grass. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure if there is any player who won three tournaments on grass. That's that's a lot. That's we're, we're, we're only. You know, some players don't even play. Three yeah, tournaments she really, Wimbledon. She really loves grass. She she won in a Serbiton. Is it Serbiton? Yeah, in in in, in yes. UK. In Ilkley, yeah, Ilkley. Sorry about my pronunciation. It's another place in uh, UK, and she won. Uh, grass tournament in Fukuoka in Japan before the French Open actually. So that shows you that shows you how much she loves grass, how much love she plays on this surface. Of course the grass season is uh, very short in tennis. So the players who are good at it try to make most of it. Uh, she was here she was in Wimbledon in semifinals of doubles a few years ago. Uh, her maximum I think is only third round from 2000 15 so this year she made she leveled this maximum uh, of course her second round win against uh, Carolina Pliskova was a quite a surprise but that was uh, that was one of the really good WTA matches if you look on YouTube uh, some highlights some amazing rallies there was a viral going on today on Facebook. I think it was uh, Luis Van Gaal watching the match of Rybarikova and Pliskova, uh, the former Manchester United co uh, manager, and he was applauding uh, as 
to, to, to one of the rallies and there were people making fun of him that he, he was never so excited when he was the coach of uh, <laughs> Manchester United. <laughs> uh, to get back to the to our match, um, yeah. So this this uh, Turenko is a decent player, but this is this bet is more about Rybarikova and her excellent form. I th she beat uh, players like Watson in the final in one of the finals that she played this year. Uh, if I'm not wrong, she only lost one uh, one grass court grass court match this this year. So that's something amazing for for a player like her. She was, and she was talented. She, she she was struggling with injuries a lot in the past few years, and that stopped her from being somewhere higher in the in WTA ranking. But she has the potential, and she has a good opponent to to make it to the fourth round. So my pick for this match is Ribarikova to win, and the odds are not super great but I think they're realistic it's at 1.44 yeah so um if you look the graphics there Rubarikova to win I didn't know she won three grass tournaments I'm, I'm actually amazed because I know I know how short the grass season is so again I think quality better absolute quality um one of the local favorites here in Poland uh Karolina Wozniacki yeah Wozniacki yeah um Wozniacki. Yeah, she's got a net contabite. That looks a tough one. That's a probably that can be easily the match of the of the day tomorrow. And it's contabite is in uh, superb form at the moment. She's number thirty-eight in the VTA ranking, uh, but she won in the grass tournament in Hertha Gambosch. She's got some powerful hitting um, in her hands and great serve. So. This will be a really tough match for Caroline. Uh, Caroline is known for her good defense, defensive skills. Uh, although that's uh, in, in certain in certain degree, she has to attack on in grass because grass is a fast service. Although the conditions here in, in this year's Wimbledon are not that super fast. Um, Wozniacki, I think, lost. She lost in the Eastbourne final. Uh, her maximum in Wimbledon is fourth round and. But here for this match, I really, I really count on uh, the experience she has over and it's going to come to fight. Wozniacki is she's a really experienced player, she played some big matches in the past, unlike Conte Uh, so it will be experience against experience and talent against informed player. So, I for this match, I go with the with experience with Caroline. At 1.7, her win, which I think is interesting enough for uh, number six in the in VTA ranking, playing against number 38. Even though all credit goes to Contevide for her play so far, great respect towards that player. She really saw some bits of her match against. I think she uh, she beat uh, Daria Kasatkina from Russia in the second round. She played really, really well. She really impressed me. At the same time, I think it's Wozniacki played decent from the highlights I saw. Uh, yeah, going good with the experienced player for the for this match, but it's going to be a tough one, I have to say. So, Karolina Wozniacki, uh, Wozniacki to win at one point seven zero. I think that'll make people happy here in the office. But no favorite. Um, I agree with you. It is, I think when I saw the draw, when I saw when I saw you mention um, this game, I thought this was going to be a big one because Contavai, I've kind of followed uh, the last few weeks, last couple of months, and she looks a really good player. Um, it's uh, it's uh, this one of the things I love about Wimbledon. You get these games crop up all the way through the tournament. It's not just like the final rounds where you get like matchups like this. this, this there's always something good to watch. Um, it's one of those. It really is one of those tournaments. So, lastly but not leastly, um, Polona Herzog versus Threadliner Kuznet Sova. Yeah, uh, that many, I, I think many people would not have heard of Polona Herzog. Um, I think she's in. If I'm not mistaken, she's in, uh, in the third hundred of, of the media ranking, two hundred and something. Uh, of course, Svetlana Kuznetsova is a 
very experienced experienced player. She's a great player. Uh, she played a lot of tough matches you know, on, on the tour, lots of Grand Slam, big matches. However, here against, I looked at the odds. Polona Herzog, just to mention, she won five matches here already. She played in the qualies. She won three matches in the qualies and two matches in the main draw. Pretty impressive. She lost only two sets. That has some going. So it's, it's again, one of the informed players, let's say. Svetlana is Svetlana. I mean, she... VTA, to, VTA tennis can be so unpredictable and so inconsistent. And over the years, I think Svetlana was, is one of the players who proved to be quite consistent for her. Uh, but my pick for this game is Polona Herzog plus 1.5 sets, so not to lose in straight sets. At 2.57, listen to that price, 2.57, Dan. That's that, that's that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to the bookies right now. I'm going to have that one. I mean, for, I love for that. Cat, to win just one set, and we are talking about VTA tennis. With all the respect to the women, uh, it's re it's really competitive this year at the Wimbledon. The same as it was uh, at Roland Garros. Uh, I I can see very easily Polona to 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 grab a set. And for this kind of price, I would rate it the the price to be around. Maximum 2.0, even less for to play against Kuznetsova. Not 2.57 is way too high, and it's a great value bet for the, for, for me. I, think I absolutely agree, and and this is how to make long term profit with um with betting. It's not about betting on surefire winners all the time. It's about finding the difference between something happening and and some, and the odds against something happening. This this is the perfect way to make long-term profits when you can keep finding bets like this um just to uh just to let you know i actually created a coupon as well so if you follow me on pro tips you can see it and for all six tips it's 33.00 that would be that would be a spicy meatball <laughs> if that's gonna go in we go for a beer dan <laughs> absolutely absolutely I, I i think if that goes in i'm buying beers in for the office to tell you the truth <laughs> Okay, so um, let's just run through them again um, from the top. So Dominic Thiem was. Uh, um, let, let, let's let's get my graphics back up and let's do this properly. So Dominic Thiem is to win in a maximum of four sets at one point three nine. That's the first tip from Tom today. Yep. The second tip from Tom today is uh, Milos Raonic against. Albert Ramos Vinolas, and it is for Albert Vin Vin Ramos Vinolas to not lose in straight sets at 2.22. Then David, uh, David Ferrer against uh, Thomas Burdich, and in that one, we are looking at Ferrer to not lose in straight sets at 1.70. That's the one for the men's. For the women's, uh, Magdalena Rib Ribarikova. Um, is fight, uh, to beat um, Lesia Surenko. So it does sound uh, like that's um, a Ukrainian name. Uh, hang on. It didn't come up that time. Sorry. And that was at 1.44, Rybarikova to win. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, Karolina Vosniatsi against Annette Kontavoy, and that is... The, the talent and experience of Karolina Wozniacki to win Wozniacki to win at 1.70. So that one there. And um, Polona Herzog against Svetlana Kuznetsova. Uh, lastly but not leastly, and again it's one where Polona Herzog is to win a set. Uh, I've got you there. And if you look at the graphic, that is at the massive price of 2.57. All six bets come to 33. So um, once again, thanks to Tom. Uh, to give you to, to confirm, Tom has a brilliant strike rate of 78% in Wimbledon. 23 tips. He's the guy to follow. Check the description. Follow him. Check his bets out. He's amazing. Um, like and subscribe our channel so you can get um, tips delivered to you. 
and I can also tell premium users watch your inboxes because you're getting a very special video sent to you tomorrow. If you're not a premium user, come to Pro Tips and find out why you should sign up because um, we really can help improve your betting. I think that's it from us today. So um, uh, that's goodbye from me. Goodbye from me as well. Okay. Thanks, Tom. And um, thanks, Dan. We'll see you soon. Speak soon. Bye bye.